Good evening, friends. Welcome back to the Castro Valley News live show. It looked like you you caught me taking notes, like I was, <laughs> and I was. I was just making a couple notes of two things that I wanted to remember further on down the line in the show. So let me make sure that I am with you guys. All right. Hey, good evening, Dennis. We are going to start off the show. Um, just going to do jump right into the roll call. Good evening to Dennis. And if you're listening or watching, every episode we start off the show with a roll call so we can say hello to each other and get to know each other, sort of. My name is Roberto, and I am the host of Castro Valley News Live. This is a show that we do every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Uh, good evening to Maggie. Good evening to Cali Life. How are you doing, sir? Good evening to Janella. And I'm going to say good evening again to Dennis, because Dennis, you are awesome. Every time that we put a shout out for um, for our pledge page, Dennis is one of the one of the first people to to donate to to the cause. And good evening, Micaiah. Micaiah. I'm going to say it. It's right. Micaiah. Um, good evening. Good evening to Deanna. Good evening to Christine. And thank you, Micaiah, for 100 stars. Four weeks in a row. Micaiah has sent us stars. And if you don't know who Micaiah is, she is one of the owners of Restore and Rework. A wonderful um, antique and one-of-a-kind uh, gift shop. Kind of a gift shop. antique, More of an antique shop over on um, San Carlos Avenue. And that is one street over from Castro Valley Boulevard. Uh, Maggie is in the house tagging a lot of people. Thank you so much, Maggie. Uh, Elizabeth is asking, what's the cause? Um, the cause is, oh, the cause is, um, I'll, I'll give it to you. And I'm, I'm, thank you for asking Elizabeth and good evening to you. Uh, good evening to Jan. Also, I don't, I want to make sure I don't miss anyone, um, in the roll call. Uh, Bob is at the sports desk. Castro Valley 55, Washington 21, Sharks 5, Montreal 0. Um, I'm guessing the Castro Valley score is football. It sounds like a football score. And the Sharks 5. Five goals against Montreal. That's amazing. Uh, Maggie is tagging lots of folks. Uh, Maggie is tagging Awa and Chris. Thank you so much. Uh, no, Maggie, thank you. Thank you for tagging so many people and m making making this uh, this show even more awesome. Paulette, good evening to you. I hope you're doing well. Maggie's also tagging Michael. And since I was asked, since um, Elizabeth asked, uh, what is the cause? There's a couple things that you can do if you would like to support the show here. You can look into the comment thread and at the very at the very bottom there's a little option that you can send stars to us and the stars cost a couple bucks but uh of course facebook gets some money we have to feed the beast we have to give a couple you know you get a some of your money goes to the evil empire of facebook oops we may get shut down because i just said that or or, or the algorithm might change instantaneously you know f facebook isn't all evil there's a lot of um unsavory and uncouth things but i think i think a, 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 facebook is great because it allows us to do this to be live and to talk to each other and to kind of be together in the same spot um so i'm going to retract my evil comment about Facebook. Facebook's just kind of, Facebook's Facebook. We're learning so much more about Facebook. Um, it's our home base. We have our largest largest audience here. And I'm com my train of thought completely just got derailed because we started talking about Facebook again. Anyways, getting back to Elizabeth's question. Uh, the, the, the cause is if you would like to donate, um, if you like what we do and you'd like to support us in some way, you can purchase stars like Micaiah just did. And uh, Facebook gets a certain uh, 
Facebook gets a chunk of, of your purchase price of those stars. Somebody else just sent stars. Thank you. Um, Janella, awesome. There you go. Janella says like this, here's 100 stars. Thank you, Janella. And Janella also has been sending stars four weeks in a row. Someone else just sent stars. Uh, David, thank you, sir. If you don't know who David is, um, wow. Maggie just sent 500 stars and you get like a little, uh, there's a coffee cup icon. That's cool. Uh, getting back to David, David is the owner of, uh, Ashley just sent a hundred stars. Thank you, Ashley. Ashley, I hope your new job is going well and uh, you owe me coffee or I owe you coffee. Someone owes someone coffee. Um, getting back to the stars, there's an icon at the bottom of the comments. You buy stars and, um, fate, fate someone just else sent stars. Uh, Paulette, thank you so much. Uh, Paulette has been sending stars three weeks in a row. I'm overwhelmed with love. You guys are awesome. Um, so yes. So if you buy stars and you send them to us, Facebook gets a certain percentage, but, um, a lot of that money goes directly to us and Maggie. Yes, I owe you coffee. You are correct. So if you wanted to do that, that would be, <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, Meredith just sent 50 stars. Thank you. And Meredith has been sending stars two weeks in a row now. Thank you so much, Meredith. Um, Meredith, you are amazing, but you know that already. Um, so the stars, it's actually pretty cool. You know, Facebook gets their chunk and we get a chunk as well. So it's a, it's a direct way that you can support Castro Valley News. We also have a pledge page. Um, Castor, we are a business here. We have dogs to feed and... Um, me to us to feed and and we are a business so we're we are not a nonprofit. and if you wanted to pledge just like um P, uh public broadcasting does you can pledge in that way or you can just uh, post a comment and say i love you and we would i would appreciate that that's awesome those things are amazing um uh, Sue says, watching from pismo beach lucille lorge and family whenever i hear about Lucille Lorge or I see her name or I get a letter from her or get a phone call from Lucille Lorge. It's like, it's like a hug. I've known Lucille for a ton of years and she is, um, Lucille deserves a ton of stars. Uh, Lucille's amazing. Lucille is such an amazing person, a good friend. And she is our, she's no, she's not our unofficial historian. She's our official historian. Um, if you are not familiar with her book, uh, quite a few years ago, she released a wonderful um, Castro Valley history book. It's, um, I think if you go to Arcadia Publishing, you can find it. It's, it's under $20 and it's worth every dollar. You can also shop local and you can go to Books on B on B Street and say hello to Renee. And uh, she has that book in stock as well. So definitely worth checking out. Um, I... I <laughs> I can't express enough gratitude to Lucille. She's been incredibly kind to me uh, for many years throughout my career. You guys probably already know I started out with the forum, the Castle Valley Forum, a bunch of years ago, and I did quite a few stories with with her in regards to to historical things happening in town. Uh, Michael is asking me about his previous question, and I can't find it in the thread so uh michael send those again and i'll see if i can find those the, the comments go fast when you're live and it's it's weird um so michael post your comment again and i'll, I'll definitely check it out uh good evening good evening to gene i hope it's gene uh, good evening from up in Shasta County, where we await the rain after this year's fires. And that was something that I wanted to bring up. We're still doing the roll call. So if you're listening um, and you want a shout out, definitely post up a comment and I will I'll give you a shout out. Uh, uh, w let me go back to to David, who sent some stars. David is the owner of Daily Dose plant based health. They're over in the in the Adobe Center. This is not a paid ad, but I just want to give a shout out to David because David knows his stuff when it comes to plant-based and vegan items that can relieve um, uh, anxiety, um, insomnia. Um, uh, there's, there's things that can alleviate pain. Um, David, and David's got skin in the game because he's a vegan. 
and uh, he's literally an encyclopedia when it comes to vegan things and natural supplements and 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 things of that like so uh like i said this is not a paid ad i'm just giving you a fyi if you're looking for an alternative to all those big pharma things that are at <laughs> the the pharmacy go ask david if you have an ailment or an issue and see if he can find something that's natural um and and non intrusive to your your immune system like some of the medications are um, the over counter the over the counter thing <laughs> David said he's gonna send stars every time I say skin in the game I don't know where I got that skin in the game saying but it's just it sticks it's one of those like peanut butter on the brain sayings uh, I was on uh, I was on hold actually n not um oh heidi you just brought up something about um the hayward school um proposal um that's that's coming up and that's that's on the list that i want to bring up later because i know i have a friend who works at hayward unified and he's got a they have a really interesting perspective when it comes to those proposed closures but um Let's see. Yes, uh, someone asked about the stars. Uh, Facebook gets a small percent percentage. All our donation, all the donations that you make to us, goes towards um, delivery. Uh, us living and, and continuing doing what we're doing. And I'm in eternally grateful to everyone who sends a star. Um, I have to plead ignorance. I do not know um, how much each star costs. Um, and uh elizabeth also also asked what do we do with the profit and i i just said that we are we are a teeny tiny eensy beansy not a yellow polka dot bikini but we're a small um hyper local news organization there's only a couple of us who are on staff there's more people who contribute regularly like chef igor um chet um contributes um uh, Cedric contributes, Ashley has contributed. So we're a small group of people doing news in town. That's where your donations go to. So um, Michael's saying, let me uh, let everyone know in Castro Valley to watch Amador County, Santa Christmas Village, um, ABC 10 News, November 27th. Also let them know they can come see the Christmas Village in Amador County, November 27th through January 8th. Uh, Michael is a wonderful guy in town who did uh, Santa's Village a lot of years. He recently moved to um, Amador County and he has a wonderful Santa's Village that he's he did here that he's doing there. So shout out to you, Michael. You are awesome. Thank you for, for um, bringing spreading Christmas joy. Uh, good evening, Denise. Denise is asking what happened to Keith's transmission. Uh, Reader's Digest version is, this was a couple weeks ago, more than a couple weeks ago, pardon, pardon my horrible timeline here. They were bought out by a different company that is kind of a chain company, but, but it's Bay Area based. And for the life of me, I can't think of the name. Okay, there we go. Uh, in regards to the stars, uh, Facebook takes one cent per star. The rest comes to us. So there's your answer. So if you're purchasing stars and sending them in, and yes, Ashley, yay for the restaurant reviews. Ashley did a ton of wonderful restaurant reviews for us. Thank you so much, Ashley, for sharing your talent with us. Also, uh, Courtney did a lot of restaurant reviews. We still currently have Chef Igor and we also have Cedric who both do restaurant reviews kind of intermittently. A lot of uh, Igor is very busy because he, he is a legit chef and he teaches <laughs> cooking. So he has a hectic schedule. So we don't get to do as many with uh, Igor as we'd like to. Uh, Cedric does quite a few uh, restaurant reviews recently. The last one we did was Val's, which went over famously. Um, as you can imagine with the pandemic and the shelter in place uh, situation, um, a lot of our restaurant reviews were just completely put on hiatus because restaurants were closed. And now we can do some takeout reviews and we've done quite a few with, with Cedric. We're looking forward to doing some more with Igor. 
when his schedule permits. And Igor, if you're listening, I love you, man. And Cedric as well. I love you too. I've known Cedric for a ton of years. He's an awesome guy. Everyone who has done restaurant reviews has brought, brought so much talent and enthusiasm to the table, no pun intended, that um, they just made our restaurant reviews fantastic. And uh, um, <laughs> all of the folks that have done restaurant reviews for us pretty much counter the assertion that there's no place good in Castro Valley to eat <laughs> because there are and that's kind of the reason why we do a restaurant review show is to highlight these wonderful places that we do have in town to eat um, we definitely have our fair share of fast food we've kind of gone over this topic numerous times we we actually had Igor on the show and we talked about this uh, to great lengths in regards to the presence of, of fast food here in town. Uh, fast food comes here to Castor Valley. Fast food restaurants are here in Castor Valley, frankly, because Castor Valley spends a lot of money on fast food. If that were not the case, these restaurants would not come, these fast food restaurants would not come to Castor Valley. Um, I think, I think the, the, the assertion or perception that we do not have good restaurants in Castor Valley, I think is, is, is not accurate. Um, I can name you five right off the top of my head, uh, right off the top of my head, places that we have reviewed um, with one of our wonderful reviewers that are fantastic. I can give you Aroma Cuisine. I can give you a Southern Comfort Kitchen, uh, the Taqueria in the Supermercado across the street from Trader Joe's, um, Portales, uh, what's the last one? Los Mocayetes. The, the list goes on and on and on to the break of break of dawn. Val's Burgers, add that to the list. They're only doing takeout, but we did do a review for Val's a lot of years ago before the shelter in place. I think that one was, was, was with Ashley. Um, and yes, Val's is technically not in Castor Valley, but we're taking Val's. We're taking vows. <laughs> They're literally like one street outside of Castro Valley, so it makes no difference. Um, Heidi says, Akemi is the best fish. Um, also, oh, somebody just sent, sent some stars. Thank you, Jan sent 4,400 stars. I challenge someone to beat Jan <laughs> in sending more than 4,400 stars um uh if anyone has donated stars uh elizabeth elizabeth is looking for the cost of one star so elizabeth if you send us one star i would gratefully and and wonderfully appreciate one star uh mary says speaking of restaurants what's going into what was katsu uh mary from what i was told when katsu retired he was selling it to someone else so I think there's going to be a new owner coming into Katsu. That's the most recent information that I received. Um, yeah, Janella says 4,000. Janella, look in the comments. We just got, we just got a donation of 4,400 stars. I should just walk off camera on the 4,400 star donation. That was silly. I'm sorry. That was completely silly. Um, make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, also, great restaurants, great places to eat. Uh, definitely check out any of the kiosks in the Lake Chabot Public Marketplace. That's on Lake Chabot Road, kind of caddy corner to Quail, across from the Community Center Park. There's Poke Eatery. There's, um, they serve... Um, meat. Not, it's not just a meat counter. There's also hot food that is being served at the, um, at the meat counter. There is, I think, there's a, there's a ramen place in there as well. There's a wonderful ice cream place. So if you're out and about and you're out on Lake Chabot Road, there's, there's definitely, um, yes, Janella just said Mama Cho's. That's the name of the, uh, of the um oh oh <laughs> that's right i walked i stepped off and you guys saw um the co-host the tank he's the co-host he's my spiritual advisor he's he's like yoda and buddha all wrapped into one wonderful handsome rescue canine package 
that that dog is is the beat of my heart <laughs> and i'm gonna i'm gonna start crying now because i love that guy um yes janella said poke eatery um uh michael says i am the best friend ever michael you are awesome thank you let me make sure i'm not missing anyone in the roll call if you're listening you want to shout out definitely um post up a comment and i'll say what's up to you and we'll kind of get to know who's listening maggie is tagging tons and tons of more people thank you so much um yes ashley says uh so many amazing places to eat when she was um hosting our restaurant show she tried so many places for the first time thank you ashley that that's that's really what the restaurant show is about to give people a different perspective in regards to what's there and i think to be honest with you um we're really lucky to have a lot of super delicious restaurants that have um, that are different flavors. I mean, there's chicken on fire. We did a rec uh, review there. Um, Mary says, been hearing good things about Nick the Greek. I'll tell you something. I have I have a friend, Andreas who is Greek. And when he heard that Nick the Greek was opening in the village, he just about did a black backflip. He says, Nick the Greek is, is, is legit. It's legit Greek stuff. Heidi just mentioned Nick the Greek. Um, so I think we're, we were doing the roll call and we were starting talking about food and mm, Luca Deli, Luca Deli. You can't beat Luca Deli. Um, I think we, we mentioned Portalis. And above going above the good food at Portales, and I, I let me tell you this little side story about Porta, Portales. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna and I'm gonna enunciate it the proper way, Portales. I took a very good, wonderful friend to Portales the first time recently, and she's a fan now. So, um, what other what other great places do we have in town to eat? that definitely deserve a shout out. I mean, the burrito shop is good. Um, JP's, JP's is good. Um, Norman's Grill. Um, I don't want to, uh, Cafe Rumi. Yeah, they're a coffee shop, but they have a lot of wonderful Mediterranean food. Chef Igor did an amazing review at uh, Cafe Rumi that you need to check out if you are skeptical 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 that's not even a word if you are skeptical about mediterranean food and different flavors igor really explains a lot of the flavors and nuances in in different foods really well so i think you might be really best served uh michael thank you for 99 stars you are a wonderful friend friend sir um yeah, Caf, Caf, Cafe Rumi is great stuff, and they have the, the, the pink chai latte, <laughs> which you have to see made. Uh, Paulette says Top Thai. Uh, Maggie says Dino's is good. So, and, you know, Maggie just said Rosa is amazing over at Portales. Rosa and Gustavo. You know, Rosa is another one of those people in town when I think of. I, I literally have, like, I feel a hug because Rosa is such a wonderful person as is Gustavo, her, her, her significant other. And, uh, Ashley says Genghis, uh, Heidi mentions SoCo. Uh, and you know, if you go into YouTube, look Castro Valley news, Southern comfort kitchen, we've actually done two reviews because they're that good. We did one with Cedric and we also did one with, um, with chef Igor and the reactions to, to how good Southern comfort kitchen is, is amazing in and of itself. And I say this during a lot of the episodes um, when, when we during the live show. Um, uh, Ashley says Rosa's an angel. That, that, that says it perfectly. Um, but, but getting back to Southern Comfort Kitchen, the food is legit. They are from New Orleans. The Brill Brothers are it, it's the real deal. It's it's the real deal. It's legit. If you if you're skeptical about spiciness, ask them a question. They'll they'll guide you in the right uh, direction. Elizabeth says, "I will touch the star, just as long as I'm not 
charged. I possibly have standing credit cards in the system. I don't want to be charged automatically. That's why I'm being cautious. I appreciate your your cautiousness, Elizabeth, because I don't I don't want Facebook. I don't want you to hit a button on here and have Facebook charge you a bazillion dollars because they'll they'll they might do that. Um, Denise says we need a location in Castro Valley to purchase DMV yearly renewal registration. Um, DMV sent you to Safeway. Um, wow, Lori sent 200 stars. Thank you so much. Um, D- Denise, I think the majority of uh, things with the DM- DMV, I think, can be done online. I may be incorrect. However, I'll tell you this. Uh, a trip to the DMV used to be a nightmare, but if you make an appointment, you'll be in and out super fast. But anyways, um, okay. Anyways, we're still, I guess, doing the roll call. I did have some other things to mention, but we're right here at the midway giveaway. So we should probably just roll on to that. Thank you guys for making the show. (laughs) You know, we're here. This is this is episode seventy nine. So we're really close to eighty, and it blows my mind how. Um, so Jamie is saying Stone Ridge Mall DMV. I I I'm not familiar if there's an office there or if there's an office in the mall. I would look that up and and see if there's some place closer to you. And again, definitely if you're going to the DMV, make an appointment, and they. <laughs> they have a system that works really well and it's really efficient because um, I think they've caught on to the fact that the longer people wait, the more frustrated they get. So to ease some, t- some of the uh, <laughs> sticky situations that can happen in the DMV, they've revised and revamped their, um, their overall flow of everything. Uh, and, I'm chock full of stories tonight, but getting back to uh, the DMV, uh, a close friend went and was going for the test at the DMV um, over on Hagenberger. This was a long time ago. True story. We did not have an appointment. We were among the first few people in line. Um, but there were quite a few people. We were within probably the 10 or 15 first in line. And the first few people who walked in, they were two gentlemen who got into a fist fight over who was in line first. And it was one of the wildest things I've ever seen. <laughs> um, yeah. But anyways, uh, make an appointment with the DMV. They, they've they gotten really good at, at making things flow faster. And the wait time is is low. It's not... I mean, if you don't have an appointment and you just come in and, and, and jump in line, there are lines, but it isn't... It, it, from what I've seen, it isn't as onerous as it used to be before. And onerous is probably the word of the night because um, it's... It's it's a seventy five cent word, um, but yes, Maggie. Yes, it was it was nuts to see people fist fighting in the line at the DMV. It was it was wild. So let's let's get to the midway giveaway. And what we do, um, and I didn't even explain what the show is about tonight for people who might be first time watchers. What we do is we we do a live show every Tuesday at 7 p.m. And we kind of talk about things that are on our mind, things that are happening in the, in our neighborhood, in our city, in our town, in our state, on the globe. We We just talk about things that are happening. And every every episode, theoretically, at 7.30, we're at 7.32, we do a midway giveaway which is an opportunity for us to support a local business by giving away a gift card. And if you saw the promo earlier tonight, tonight's gift card goes to... It's a glare. It's a terrible glare. It's just so bright. It's Artists in Place. Let me get... There you go. Artists in Place. They are located in the shopping center, kind of catty catty corner to Safeway on Redwood Road. And they are chock full, chock full of 
just gifts everything under the sun and this is an advertisement for artists in place i'm just going to give you a little bit of a, a a crash course in what they have it's uh, there's handmade items there's there's candies there's uh like shabby cheek things there's it, it, it's a cool shop so twenty dollars tonight to artists in place and every time we do the midway giveaway there's a trivia question the first person to text the correct answer to 510-331-9112 write that number down 510-331-9112 wins the twenty dollar gift card to whatever business that that happens to be the business we're giving a card away to that evening this evening tonight and i want to give a special shout out to tonight's sponsor the folks with forester.org that's f-o-r-e-s-t-r.org they are a local nonprofit with the mission to reforest urban communities you can learn more at their website at forester.org. That's F O R E S T R.org. And Bob asks next to Pete's, and that is correct. Artisan Place is a couple doors down from Pete's, but in the same in that same little shopping area. And yes, thank you again to Forrester.org. Um, if you're not familiar with Forrester.org, you can look them up. F O R E S T R dot O R G. Uh, Maggie, how do you sponsor? You can, I'm, I'm beside myself with joy that you asked, how can you sponsor? So, uh, shoot me, shoot the page an email or an inbox message and I will let any business owner, any merchant know how you can sponsor the Midway giveaway. Cause there's, there's two different things that I wanted to make sure that I kind of explained is the gift cards are purchased by me. But the sponsors can give us a couple of ad dollars to sponsor the Midway giveaway. So basically, these people who are our sponsors, like Forrester, and uh, who else have been other sponsors? Um, uh, Todd Anglin has been a sponsor. Um, Dave over at Plant Based uh, Daily Dose Plant Based Health, he has been a sponsor of the Midway giveaway as well. So just send me an inbox, and and we'll have um, a conversation offline and we'll talk about how you can sponsor the midway giveaway you can request which business that i purchased the gift card at that's totally acceptable but that that comes i, I want to spend my money supporting businesses while you support our business so it's it's the circle of life for the lack of a better term um maggie i owe you i owe you a a gallon of coffee for tagging so many friends and offering to sponsor. So again, tonight's $20 gift certificate is to, it's not going to show up. There it is. Artisan place. And again, the first person to text the correct answer to this phone number, 510-331-9112 wins that gift card. I'll give you that phone number one more time, 510-331-9112 for the correct answer. You can post in the comments, but they don't count. You have to text. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't like rules myself, but that's, that's just how we do it. So tonight's question, and I, I, I'm, I, I'm kind of tickled that I, that I pulled this question out of my hat. And our moderator just reminded you, be sure to text your answers in to 510-331-9112. Only texted answers are eligible to win. Answers in the thread are greatly appreciated. We love you, but you, you're not in the running. Um, I feel like David Letterman. A bald, ridiculous David Letterman. I've got the, the mic is like David Letterman's old one. It's, sorry, it's just so silly tonight. I apologize, guys. So tonight's question and the first person to text the correct answer to 510-331-9112 wins the $20 gift card to Artisan Place. So a number of years ago, there was a marijuana bust in Castro Valley where 34 pounds of processed marijuana was seized. At the home where the marijuana was seized there was a five foot caiman which is kind of like an alligator that was guarding the stash what was the name of the caiman alligator <laughs> bob says i've got a larry king microphone oh man i used to listen to larry king on the radio he had he's just had one of those mighty voices so i'll give you the question one more time there a number of years ago 
there was a marijuana bust. Uh, the Alameda County Sheriff's busted a home in Castro Valley where uh, 34 pounds of processed marijuana was seized. And at this home, there was a five foot caiman, which is extremely similar to an alligator that was guarding the stash. What was the name of said caiman slash alligator? First person to text the correct answer to 510-331-9112. And Rochelle says she remembers that. And, I, you know, uh, my mom, I love you, mom, if you're listening. <laughs> I love you, mom. You're awesome. Uh, my mom and I have this thing every week. She's like, what's your question of the week? And it's it's weird because when I was with the forum, I used to do a question of the week. You remember the question of the week in the back where you ask, hey, what's your favorite Oh, we got a winner. Right on. That was cool. Let me let me figure out who texted in first. Hang on, guys. My texts are coming in super slow. Okay. We got a winner. In a, in a second, I'll give you the name of the winner and the name of the, the, the Cayman. Okay, I'll just give you the name of the, 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 Kamer, the Cayman alligator thing. They, it, it looked like an alligator, but it was a, it's a caiman. It's, technically, it's a caiman. Uh, his name was Mr. Teeth. Um, unfortunately, this caiman was in a plexiglass like case. And yeah, David said some someone's good with Google because no one knows that answer. <laughs> um, okay, congratulations, Anna. You won. Let me. Oops, hold on, guys. Of course, when I'm typing live is when all the typos happen. So getting back to um, Mr. Teeth, you can you can probably Google Mr. Teeth and see the story. He was in, unfortunately, I think he was he was a five foot Cayman alligator and I think he was in an eight foot plexi thing so he didn't have much room to move and unfortunately he wasn't well kept so mr teeth was missing a lot of his teeth i think he had one big one here and some other ones and um even more unfortunate was after not not long after uh isn't mr teeth a puppet i think so i think he's one of the uh the band he's the keyboard player i believe um, but uh, shortly after the the Cayman was um, seized from that home, Mr. Teeth passed away. So um, a lot of people got Mr. Teeth. A lot of people, like David said, a lot of people are Googling. Um, yeah, everybody's got, everybody knows. There we go. So congratulations to Anna. She got the correct answer. It was Mr. Teeth. Congratulations, Anna. And again, every Tuesday night, we do the live show. And then halfway through the show, we do the midway giveaway. So every week, we give away a $20 or sometimes $25 gift certificate to a local business. And uh, it's fun. And <laughs> every week, I get to think of a different trivia question. And it's it's a blast. It's fun. I'm I'm I'm... I'm surprised and bemused and amused that, that people remember Mr. Teeth. That was 2013, I believe. I was going to give the date, but I think that would be an easy way for, for people to Google that, like David had mentioned. So with that said, let me give you some community calendar items here. And I'm going to start off. Here's one that was sent in by Ashley. Ashley, so on October 30th from 11 to 2, and I'm assuming this is 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. because the hours are not given here, and I don't think it would be 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. So uh, October 30th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., there will be a trunk or treat at Don Castro Regional Recreation Area 22400 Woodrow Avenue. That's in Fairview. That's right outside of Castro Valley. So it's still 
pertinent to what we're doing. Um, the participation is limited. Registration is required. Businesses and organizations are invited to decorate a trunk and pass out candy. But you need to have enough candy for 400 people. Uh, the event is subject to COVID-19 restrictions. And for more information, you can contact April Chan at 510-566-3909. I'm going to give you that event one more time. Thank you, Ashley, for sending this in. This is going to be a trunk or treat. October 30th, 2021, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Don Castro Regional Recreation Area, 22400 Woodrow Ave, Fairview. There you go. The next thing we have on the list here. Second. And we just shared this um, earlier this afternoon. There's a blood drive being sponsored by Alameda County Fire Department. That is Friday, October 22nd, 2021, 7 a.m. to 11.15 a.m. Ashley, I love you too. Uh, this is going to be at the Blood Mobile, located at 20336. The Blood Mobile will be the vehicle that's going to be at the, the fire station at 20336 San Miguel Avenue. That's, of course, in Castro Valley. This is being sponsored by Vitalant. They do a lot of blood drives uh, in the Bay Area across the nation, I believe. And um, Alameda County Fire Department and... Oh boy, I want to get this correct. Uh, the Firefighters Union 55. And again, that is Friday, October 22nd, 2021, 7 a.m. to 11.15 a.m. To schedule an appointment, visit donors.vitalent.org and enter a unique blood drive code ALCOFIRE. So I'll give you that one more time. This blood drive is Friday, October 22nd, this Friday. 7 a.m., 11.15 a.m., 20336 San Miguel Avenue, Castro Valley. Schedule your appointment by visiting donors.vitalent.org and enter the unique blood drive code ALCOFIRE. And this is cool because we've got first responders organizing a blood drive. And yes, so we posted that on the page. For your reference, oh, I shaved. I saved two blood drive announcements. Um, also, sorry, we got a lot of community community calendar things to 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 breeze through. Then we'll get to some other things in the list. And I, I appreciate your patience. Um, okay, I'm gonna skip that one. That one is passed. Um, Guys, since we're talking about Halloween, you got to get down to the village, the village shopping center. Um, next to Seize Candies, there's a selfie station. Um, we and in full disclosure, we are helping the uh, the village shopping center promote this event. Um, the selfie station was a huge, huge success last year. So basically, all you have to do is just go to the selfie station located next to C's Candies and email it to villagehalloweencontest at gmail.com and you could win one of four prizes. First prize is a $500 gift card to any shop or business or service in the village. Second prize is $250 gift card, again, to any shop, business, service in the village. Third prize is a $200 gift card. And the fourth prize is a $50 gift card. All of those gift cards to, the, if you win, go to the business, service, or merchant of your choice. Your choice. All you got to do is go down there, take a selfie, take a picture of your little ones in their costumes, not in their costumes. There's no rule that you have to be in a costume. But you have to go down to the village shopping center next to Seize Candies. You can't miss the selfie station. It's a big vinyl sign that says Happy Halloween, Castro Village. I think there's some bales of hay for people to sit on. But um, you do have to be over 18 to win. And there are four winners. I give you those again. They're giving away money. <laughs> They're giving away money. So go enter. 
I would enter if I could, but I'm, I can't. I am, I am not eligible because I'm helping promote this. First prize winner, $500. Second, $250. These are gift cards, by the way, to, to the business service merchant in the village of your choice. Third is a $200 gift card. Fourth is a $50 gift card. So if you are one of those four entrants that are picked randomly, you could get a $500 gift card, a $250 gift card, a $200 gift card, or a $50 gift card to the business merchant service of your choice in the village. They're giving away money. So you just got to go take a picture in the village. Okay, that's that. And let me let me make sure I'm not missing any comments in in here because I was just um, blathering. <laughs> we also do post select photos on the page to help promote the event. Um, if you go to let me pull this up one more time because this is kind of important. All you have to do is go to um, castrovillage.com. You can check out all of the official rules, and there's quite a few rules. Again, castervillage.com. Check out the rules of that contest. Like I said, this is our, our second year partnering with the village doing, doing this event because of because the pandemic and, and things are different. So they want to do things that are going to be safe and, and help promote uh, shopping in the village and and give stuff away bring brings people out people have a good time so did the midway giveaway okay let's get to um i think it was heidi who mentioned and i can't hey good evening dustin see i'm missing people in the uh in the roll call good evening dustin i hope you're doing well my friend um and yes ashley mentioned the trunk or treat is is starts at 11 a.m and Ashley also says all trick or treaters are welcome. Welcome, so definitely go check it out. Um, there's an updated blood drive link in the comments. There's also a link to the selfie station for more information if you're looking for that. Uh, Bob says Lakers 34, Warriors 32. End of first quarter. Oh, oh, here's an exclusive for you guys. We have a new Castle Valley News Magazine coming out real soon. Since we're talking about the Warriors, um, we've got a local guy, Made Good, who's going to be on page one. It's uh, Juan Toscano Anderson. Great story. Graduated from Castle Valley High. Um, he did he did some, some time in, I think, some of the, the um, basketball leagues in Mexico. Then he came back and was signed to uh, it's the Santa Cruz Warriors, I believe, which is uh, the minor league for the Warriors and um, has been signed with the Warriors for, for a couple of years now. And he's kicking butt. And he's an he's a, he's a awesome, awesome guy. So I will let you guys know when the next Castro Valley News Magazine comes out because Juan is on the cover. And it's a good story. He's a great guy. Like I, like I said, I'll let you know having some difficulty with my voice losing my voice next time i will have some water here so when the raspiness arrives we can set that aside yeah uh maggie says awesome i've been <laughs> going back and forth with uh with the the the, the guys with the warriors their pr office trying to arrange a time where I could interview Juan and 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 I know Juan's got family in town so thank you Juan for for your time it, it was great talking to you it wasn't a long interview but um definitely it, it's good to feature someone local who is who's doing good so and I forgot who had mentioned it before but someone said let's talk about the um the proposal for Hayward schools to close. And I, like I said, I have a, a very close friend who works for Hayward Unified, and I'm not going to give that person's in, uh, <laughs> info out. So this just kind of came out in the past week. Uh, there's going to be, uh, there's 14 sites that, that are uh, being considered for potential closure in, uh, 
and Hayward Unified. Uh, one of the school sites, Strobridge, is is it's in. If it's not in Castor Valley, it's a street outside. It's right on the other side of uh, Strobridge. And this is wild. I in in all my years of covering news, I've never heard a school district um, considering closing so many school sites. And like I said, there's there's 14 in total. And year one, uh, and let me give you some backstory here. Uh, Hayward Unified School District may close several, several school sites under a budget proposal aimed to address a drastic decline in enrollment and a projected $14 million budget shortfall. Um, on October 18, which was yesterday, they will they kicked off a number of virtual town hall meetings to discuss its operational sustainability plan and to hear community feedback on the plan. So the meeting that they started this week on the 17th, the recommendations were presented to their school, to Hayward Unified School District Board of Education. Um, so yeah, that's that's a lot of schools. That's a lot of money that they're looking to uh, to address. And like I said, I, I have a close friend who is at one of the schools, and their take is uh, our school is one of the main schools they are going to try to send all the kids to. Um, right now, there's about 600 students here. The district said their site can hold 1,200 students. So it sounds like they would they would add portables to the school uh, for for new students and teachers um, this person does not believe that the plan is going to go through but it's wild it's 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 an immense list like i said uh first year uh Implementation potentially for a 22-23 school year would mean the closure of Bowman Elementary, Eldridge Elementary, Glassbook Elementary, Strobridge, which is here, Faith Ringgold School of the Arts and Science, Helen Turner Student Information and Assessment Center, Parent Resources Hub. All the stuff is online. You can just go to husd.us. backslash OS. I'll give you that one more time. H-U-S-D dot U-S backslash OS. Wild. Never heard or seen any anything as significant as this. Um, oh, I'm missing, I'm missing questions here. Um, Yep, Maggie says just heard potential school closures. Uh, Janella says super sad. Her son goes there. So there you, uh, Amy says parts of it will happen. Um, uh, Bob brings up a good point that I hoped someone was going to bring up. Is uh, Castor Valley Schools did the same thing in the 70s. They closed A.B. Morris, Alma, Parsons, and Norbridge. Then 15, later, 15 years later, schools were all overcrowded. That was actually a point that my friend had brought up uh he, this person does not think it's going to happen um because what is going to happen when enrollment goes back up re reopen and already close school and hearkening back to uh bob's comment a lot of those sites end up getting s uh, potentially sold off so um i don't know how you reopen a a, a school when it's been closed and the property has been sold. So this is something that, that I think there's going to be a, a lot more meetings. I think we're going to see that number of 14 sites dwindle to potentially, my guess, I'm just guessing out loud here, it may turn to half, maybe less than half, um, because the community is going to just uh, collectively be up in arms um, against this. As, as a lot of the comments on the page have, have indicated already. So um, if I hear anything, I'll let you guys know. And if you guys are in the know, please 
pass on your your inside information to me i would i would love to hear anything and everything that you may be able to share um with that said i don't i don't have anything else on the list here and we're super close to rounding out the hour um i'm sorry i'm sniffing in you guys' ear i need to I can mute it when I sniff. Sorry for that, because I know I've been sniffing in you guys' ear. Um, one more time, if if you guys would like to be a sponsor for the Midway giveaway, just shoot me an inbox message, and I'll let you know what our rate is. And if you have a, a request for which business you want the gift certificate to come from, we can definitely do that too. Um, Bob says, Earl Warren too, when they sold A.B. Morris, they built many homes. So there you go. That's one of the things that has been historically um, a thorn in the side for a lot of people who live in town. That that um, huge, uh, not huge, the significant sell off of school sites in Castro Valley, because as as if you don't know, our middle schools. Big, big population of students and the high school is is just full to uh, near capacity. Uh, good evening, Tanya. Tanya says she missed us, guys. Just got home. Welcome home, Tanya. We missed you as well. If you're not, if you don't know who Tanya is, I'm gonna close out the show the show on a good note. Tanya is responsible for the wonderful and amazing community cupboard on Forest Avenue. Please, um, no expired items. But if you do have uh, perishable, non-perishable items in your fridge or your pantry, your cupboard that you're looking to get rid of, uh, that are you, you want to, you know, spring clean, what have you, please don't throw the food away. Bring them to the community cupboard. Non-expired items, please. Uh, Tanya requests that you bring your donations to the front door. Uh, the community cupboard throughout the pandemic has pretty much been a... Uh, saving grace for a lot of people who may have uh, become unemployed, had their incomes different because of the pandemic and, and, and things that are happening. Uh, I've, I've gone to the community cupboard many times to pick up items, even more times to donate items. It's, it's a gem in our community, and uh, I can't give enough hat tips to Tanya for what she does with the community cupboard. Um, we our our wonderful wise and learned fetching attractive moderator just posted uh, the link to the community cupboards Facebook page. Somebody just sent some tar some some tar. <laughs> Thank you, Tanya, for the fifty stars. If you're just listening, you can send us stars. You can become an advertiser. Um, if you own a business, if, if you're a merchant and you want to uh, to reach more people and you want to to sponsor the Midway giveaway, please send me an inbox message. That would be wonderful. And um, with that said, we're really close to closing out the hour. I'll give you the phone number again, 510-331-9112. If you'd like to text in a comment, complaint, confession, suggestion, a topic idea. I'm open to everything. I love hearing from you guys. Yeah, uh, we we kind of kind of started the show thinking it would be a call in show, like a like a um, an OG radio show, but it's kind of turned into me talking and you guys commenting, which is wonderful because it's it's a it's a different cool way for us to interact and I, and I love it. Frankly, I love it. We do have guests who who sometimes call in and we and we talk about things that are happening. We've had the folks from the sheriff's department. We have folks from. Um, uh, we had the superintendent of schools uh, at the height of the pandemic. Uh, thank you for appearing on the show, Miss um, Amadi. Uh, but it's kind of morphed into me talking, doing the midway thing, and then kind of bantering back and forth with you guys in the thread, which is awesome. I, I love the show. It was just kind of a kind of a uh, idea that gestated for a while and kind of turned into video uh we turned into audio only when we started the show and we ended up going to going to um video as well and oh tanya is saying that she's sorry that she missed the show it's on the page forever if you want to if you want to watch it later tanya and also we'll 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 be doing a show next week next tuesday we'll be here next next tuesday at 7 p.m 
this mouth will go continuously and um, in sometimes an entertaining and enlightening and informational way, sometimes silly. But um, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys for, for tuning in week after week. Thank you for the stars. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being amazing. Um, Castle Valley is just uh, a great community. And I think our biggest asset is, is our people. Um, I can't say enough about the people here. They're, folks here are just remarkably supportive and positive and, and generous. And I am in debt to you for your kindness and generosity. With that said, we're at an hour. That is episode 79. As always, when the going gets weird, the weird turn pro. Be safe, everyone.